So we're going into the preschool. This is for the so the infants and the toddlers. What, what age do they come in at? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're learning how to see the days of the week and the months of the year. They learn the alphabet. So, um, so okay, so first the, the kids would come here in terms of the... Baby class, before they turn baby class, kids school. Okay, so there's a, a preschool there. Yeah, there. Nursery, yeah, we call it nursery. And what ages does that start there? Five. Five, okay. And then, and then they, they go from five to standard four. Uh, so they start in nursery school, that's about two years, isn't it? Yes, three years. Three years. Yes, we have baby, middle class and top. Yeah, so then when they're around six years old, I mean often we don't know their age. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say between six and seven, they start primary school. They start standard one and that goes up to standard eight. Okay. So they'll be about 14 years when they finish. So but from standard four, they, board, they start boarding. So then they start boarding, yes. Yeah, from standard four. From standard four. Oh, yeah, so, sorry, from, from fifth class. So the last four years. So from standard one to standard five, they, they, they come here back every day. They come back every day. And then from standard, standard five for four, four to standard nine. Eight. 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 Okay. So the last four years they go boarding, and then they go to secondary school. Then they have to board. There is no, there are no there are sec secondary schools in the area that they could go and come back. So it's always boarding. So how many people? How many children do you have in total living here? Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven, and then how many are going to the school? Because it's more than just the kids here, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. And then in the school there are about 280 okay. students in total. And those are from the surrounding community also coming yeah, here? Yeah, from surrounding community and so they, ha they have to pay school fees mm -hmm. and basically that covers the, the, the cost of our children because there are no on school fee paid. Mm. Um, but as I understand you got, you got 100 kids in total. In total, total that we take care of. 87 are full-time, yeah. yeah, and the rest are at, boarding, at secondary boarding school and come back on holiday. Yeah, we have two programs. One program is taking care of children here in the orphanage and the other program is taking care of some children that we support uh, in, in their families or in their, their communities. Yeah, around 187. Another 187, yeah. 187 that you support? In total, or that you support? No, that uh, that is in the in the program that the community home-based care they call it. Home -based. So it's 187. Yeah, and and that uh, so, you know, children they come here most of them they are abandoned, with a little bit of with little background information. Now, so now Phyllis is always trying, especially children who are abandoned in Alred area through the hospital. She tries to pick up clues to find out who abandoned the child. As soon as she, she gets a clue, she tries to follow it up. And if the parents are being found or family members, she tries to, to place them back. So that the social workers, they have to find out what is the, why, why in the beginning did they abandon the child? And if they find out that, you know, because of financial constraints or whatever difficulties there were, uh, she'll try to help them, you know, financially. So at least the child can go to school. So, for example, if the parents are not able to take care of themselves, then she'll make sure they go at least to a boarding school to get their regular education. But in the in the holidays, they could stay with the parents or family members. So, so and they are they. That's you know, that's part of that community based. Yeah. 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 Okay. Supported school fees, uniform. You know, to take away that financial constraint that, that might have been there. But I must say, we have a whole range of background children, like 
some the mother is in jail, yeah, those ones as well, or the father killed the whole family except two, you know, are still alive. So it's a whole range of background cases that we have. But basically that is uh, a bit the, the way you know, we are working. Parents also, their parents died to H, due to HIV AIDS cases. Yeah. yeah. So they are totally off. And then, okay, officially by the Kenyan government, you know, after 18, they, they are not allowed to stay with us anymore. But uh, it, it is very difficult, you know, to, once they go, once they have finished secondary school, and we still pay there. If they can go to university, we'll pay for that. If they do any other vocational training or whatever, it's always being paid for. But what we see is that the first two years is very difficult for them. I mean, we provide them with housing, we pay the small room rent, and, and they monitor the, the child. But the first two years are difficult. It's difficult for them to, to deal with their own responsibility. At first they think, okay, now life starts and I don't have to do anything anymore. And that takes, on, on average, I would say about two years. Yes, and then when they, when, they have, when they realize it's not really up to them yeah. to make something out of their lives, that's, that's now when you see they're getting serious again.